New photo of cult guys, leader. Uh, read the Sydney Morning Herald or the Age, but this cult, the, the cult I escaped, uh, was in the paper because the ATO has been raiding their head offices and brethren businesses. Uh, the Plymouth Brethren Christian Church, or the exclusive brethren, as they're more commonly known. Um, but what surfaced in that article, which I've got my hands on, is a recent photo of the cult leader. This is insane because Bruce, that's Bruce D. Hales. I'll zoom up a bit a bit closer, but it's pretty insane because the, the lengths or the stories you used to hear growing up in that cult, the lengths in which they used to go to protect his identity. Like he had, there was no photograph of him for years, like for a decade almost. Um, I'll zoom up closer so you can see a better photo. And this is a close up of Bruce Hales, um, which is insane. It, like we, we have not seen a photo of him publicly. Well, this is him in the church meeting. Um, but essentially you can see from the photo that all, all around him are men because men are only allowed to sit in the inner circle and women have no place in the church. So they have to sit at the back where there are no microphones, nothing, um, basically seen and not heard, except for when they yell out two numbers in the church, which is from the hymn book where everybody sings. But the men have to start the hymns, the men take the readings, and as you can see, there's his Bible. Um, so essentially, the importance of this is that he is, to them, um, a living representation of Christ on earth. Um, everything he says is direct from God, and they essentially worship him uh, versus Jesus. Like they, they put him first, they put the cult first, and then family. That's how they can excommunicate members so easily and shun them and turn their back on them.